great sources of healthy fat are required to nourish your brain, heart, and cells, as well as your hair, skin, and nails. Foods copious in particular omega-3 fats called EPA and DHA are especially important and may reduce cardiovascular disease, better your mood, and help forestall dementia. Yes there are good fats. For years, dietitians and physicians have preached the advantages of a low-fat diet. We've been told that cutting back the amount of fat we eat is the key to slimming down, managing cholesterol, and preventing health issues. But when it comes to your mental and physical health, merely cutting the fat simply doesn't cut it. Research demonstrates that more than the total sum of fat in your diet, it's the sorts of fat you eat that truly matter. Bad fats add to your cholesterol and your risk of particular diseases, while beneficial fats have the contrary effect, protecting your heart and defending overall health. As a matter of fact, great fats like omega-3 fats are utterly essential not only to your physical health but your emotional welfare. Add to your healthy diet, 1. Monounsaturated fats, from plant oils like canola oil, peanut oil, and olive oil, as well as avocados, nuts, like almonds, hazelnuts, and pecans, and seeds, like pumpkin, sesame. 2. Polyunsaturated fats, including omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, found in fatty fish like salmon, herring, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, and some cold water fish oil supplements. Additional sources of polyunsaturated fats are unheated sunflower, corn, soybean, and flaxseed oils, and walnuts. Cut back or eliminate from your diet, 1. Saturated fats, found chiefly in animal sources including red meat and whole milk dairy products. 2. Trans fats, found in veggie shortenings, a few margarines, crackers, candies, cookies, snack foods, fried foods, baked goods, and additional processed foods made with partially hydrogenated vegetable oils. When centering on healthy fats, a great place to begin is bringing down your consumption of saturated fats. Saturated fats are chiefly found in animal products like red meat and whole milk dairy products. Poultry and fish likewise contain saturated fat, but less than red meat. Additional sources of saturated fat include tropical veggie oils such as coconut oil and palm oil. Here are easy ways to bring down saturated fat. A. Uh, consume less red meat, beef, pork, or lamb, and more fish and chicken B. Try for lean cuts of meat, and stick with white meat, which has less saturated fat. C. Bake, broil, or grill rather than frying. D. Take away the skin from chicken and trim as much fat off of meat as conceivable before cooking. E. Keep away from breaded meats and vegetables and deep-fried foods. F. Pick out low-fat milk and lower-fat cheeses like mozzarella if possible, enjoy full-fat dairy in moderation. G. Utilize liquid veggie oils like olive oil or canola oil rather than lard, shortening, or butter. H. Keep away from cream and cheese sauces, or have them served on the side. A trans fat is a normal fat molecule that has been bent and deformed during a procedure called hydrogenation. During this procedure, liquid vegetable oil is heated and blended with hydrogen gas. Partly hydrogenating vegetable oils makes them more stable and less likely to spoil, which is really good for food manufacturers, and really foul for you. No amount of trans fats is good for you. Trans fats add to major health issues, from heart disease to cancer. Sources of trans fats. A lot of individuals think of margarine when they picture trans fats, and it's true that a few margarines are loaded with them. But, the chief source of trans fats in the Western diet comes from commercially prepared baked goods and snack foods, such as baked goods, cookies, crackers, cakes, muffins, pie shells, pizza dough, and a few breads like hamburger buns. Fried foods, donuts, deep fries, fried chicken, chicken nuggets, and hard taco shells. Snack foods, potato, corn, and tortilla chips, candy, packaged or microwave popcorn. Solid fats, stick margarine and semi-solid veggie shortening. Pre-mixed products, cake mix, pancake mix, and chocolate drink mix. While shopping, read the labels and look out for partially hydrogenated oil in the components. Even if the food claims to be trans fat free, this component makes it suspect. With margarine, pick out the soft tub versions, and make certain the product has zero grams of trans fat and no partly hydrogenated oils. 
When eating out, put fried foods, biscuits, and additional baked goods on your skip list. Keep away from these products unless you know that the restaurant has got rid of trans fat. Keep away from fast food. Most states have no labeling ordinances for fast food, and it may even be advertised as cholesterol-free when cooked in vegetable oil. When dining out, ask your server or counter person what sort of oil your food will be cooked in. If it's partly hydrogenated oil, run the other way or ask if your food may be prepared utilizing olive oil, which most restaurants have in stock. All right, so you realize you have to avoid saturated fat and trans fat, but how do you get the good for you monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats everybody keeps discussing? The most beneficial sources of healthy monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats are veggie oils, nuts, seeds, and fish. Cook with olive oil. Utilize olive oil for stovetop cooking, instead of butter, stick margarine, or lard. For baking, try canola or vegetable oil. Consume more avocados. Try them in sandwiches or salads or make guacamole. Along with being loaded with heart and brain healthy fats, they make for a filling and pleasing meal. Grasp the nuts. You are able to likewise add nuts to veggie dishes or utilize them rather than breadcrumbs on chicken or fish. Snack on olives. Olives are high in good for you monounsaturated fats. But contrary to most other high-fat foods, they make for a low-calorie snack if eaten on their own. Try them plain or make a tapenada for dipping. Dress your own salad. Commercial dressings are frequently high in saturated fat or made with sullied trans fat oils. Produce your own healthy dressings with high-quality, cold-pressed olive oil, flaxseed oil, or sesame oil. A great fat may become bad if heat, light, or oxygen harms it. Polyunsaturated fats are the most delicate. Oils that are high in polyunsaturated fats, like flaxseed oil, must be refrigerated and kept in an opaque container. Cooking with these oils likewise damages the fats. Never utilize oils, seeds, or nuts after they start to smell or taste rank or bitter. Omega-3 fatty acids, superfats for the brain and heart Omega-3 fatty acids are a sort of polyunsaturated fat. While all sorts of monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats are great for you, omega-3 fats are evidencing to be particularly beneficial. We're still learning about the numerous advantages of omega-3 fatty acids, but research has demonstrated that they can forestall and cut back the symptoms of depression, 1. Protect against memory loss and dementia. 2. Cut back the risk of heart disease, stroke, and cancer. 3. Alleviate arthritis, joint pain, and inflammatory skin conditions 4 sustain a healthy pregnancy omega-3 fatty acids are highly centered in the brain research shows that they play a vital role in cognitive function memory problem solving powers etc also emotional health acquiring more omega-3 fatty acids in your diet may help you fight fatigue sharpen your memory and balance your mood Studies have demonstrated that omega-3 may be helpful in the treatment of depression, attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder ADHD, and manic depression. There are many different types of omega-3 fatty acids. Fish, the most beneficial food source of omega-3 Omega-3 fats are a sort of essential fatty acid, meaning they're essential to health, but your body can't make them. You may only get omega-3 fatty acids from food. The most beneficial sources are fatty fish like salmon, herring, mackerel, anchovies, or sardines, or high-quality cold water fish oil supplements. Canned albacore tuna and lake trout may likewise be great sources, depending upon how the fish were raised and processed. A few individuals avoid seafood as they worry about mercury or other possible toxins in fish. But, most experts agree that the advantages of eating two servings a week of these cold water fatty fish outweigh the risks. If you're a vegetarian or you don't like fish, you may still get your omega-3 fix by eating algae, which is high in DHA, or taking a fish oil or algae supplement. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates.